In today's video, I will teach you how to make a photo look vintage in Photopea. Let's get started. First, launch Photopea in your browser. Then go to File, then Open, and load the image that you want to edit. First, we're going to add a sepia tone. A sepia tone can instantly give your image a vintage feel. So go to Image, Adjustments, then U and Saturation. In the U and Saturation panel, check the Colorize box. Then adjust the U slider to about 30 to 40 to achieve a sepia tone. You can also play with the saturation and lightness sliders to fine-tune the effect. And once you're satisfied, you can click OK. Now we're going to add a film grain. Graininess is a characteristic of vintage photos, so you can start by going to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Then set the amount to around 5 to 10%. And you can adjust based on how grainy you want the photo to look. And make sure to check the monochromatic box to ensure the noise is black and white, which suits a vintage look. And once you're satisfied, you can click OK. Now we're going to reduce the contrast. Older photos tend to have a lower contrast. So go to Image, Adjustments, then Brightness and Contrast. Then reduce the contrast by dragging the slider to the left. A value around negative 20 to negative 30 should work well. Then click OK. Now we're going to add a vignette effect. A vignette effect helps create a retro, old-fashioned photo style. So start by creating a new layer by going to Layer, New, then Layer, or simply click the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. With the new layer selected, select the elliptical marquee tool, or simply press M, and draw an oval selection over the central part of your image. Then go to Select, then inverse to invert the selection so the edges are selected instead of the center. Then fill the selection with black by going to edit, then fill, and choose black. Then deselect the selection by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. Now lower the opacity of the vignette layer to around 20 to 30% to blend it with the image for a subtle effect. An optional step is adding faded colors. For a more faded and washed out vintage effect, simply go to Image, Adjustments, then Curves. In the Curves panel, drag the bottom left point of the RGB curve slightly upwards to lift the black point and give your photo a faded and washed out look. You can also experiment with individual red, green and blue channels to give a soft color fade to the image. And once you're satisfied with the vintage effect, simply go to File, then Export As, and choose the format you prefer. Now click Save to download your edited image. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.